Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video for you about um, ketone testing with a blood meter um, as well as um, glucose testing. Um, so I was just going to give you a little overview of um, what this is and how to do it. So I use the Precision uh, Freestyle Neo Meter. This one tests both glucose and ketones. Um, you will need two separate boxes of the strips. The ketone strips are kind of expensive. It's $2 a strip and they come in a purple pack. And the blood glucose strips are uh, less expensive and they come in blue. So if you are going to your pharmacy, make sure you let your pharmacist know which ones for sure that you want because it will make a huge difference. Um, you're also going to need a box of the lancets. They poke your finger um, with a little um, lancet user thing. So I've already got one loaded in here. I'm gonna turn on my machine and get my lance or and get my strips ready. Um, I often start with my ketone one just because it seems like it. Uh, I don't know. That's just how I do it. Just in case any blood gets wasted or anything, um, I'm not wasting the more expensive strip. So I've got my meter on and I load my strip and I've cleaned my hands and then I poke my finger and get a little decent amount of blood on there and it takes a few seconds counts down from 10 and so I haven't eaten since about lunch. Um, I had a cup of bone broth this afternoon at about three, and my reading is 1.9 millimolars. Uh, that's for ketones. Um, so we are now going to test the glucose. I still have some blood on my finger, so we can still use that. And you don't need to repoke your finger again. Um, now you don't need to test both glucose and um, ketones. I do both just because I'm interested in, in what my number is going to be. So it's 4.6, so that's a perfect glucose reading um, in my mind. Um, sometimes when I wake up, it's, it's upwards of 5.6. Um, and you want your um, glucose to be under 5.6, 5.5, um, between 3. I would say if it goes lower than three, then your blood sugar is really, really low, um, and you might uh, might be cause for concern. As far as ketones, you want your reading to be between 0.5 millimolars and three, which is considered nutritional ketosis. Um, if it goes above three to like four or five, I've even seen some people I know through extended fasting get um, readings of 8.0. Um, not a huge cause. Uh, like red flag or anything for concern. Um, anything above 10, you might want to um, get checked out or uh, test your blood sugar as well. You may be um, heading towards ketoacidosis, but that's really, really unusual. Um, most people stay between the 0.5 and 3.0. Uh, it's very common. And that's where you're going to see the benefits of ketosis, having those ketones in your blood. Um, this is the most um, reliable source of uh, testing ketones. Um, I've never used the P-strips. Um, they're not as accurate the further you are into your keto journey. So um, they're fine in the beginning if that's what you want to use, but I would suggest moving on to something like this. Um, there's also the Keto Mojo, which tests both glucose and ketones. Um, yeah, so that's it. And uh, so I'm going to the gym right now, um, high on ketones. I'm not going to eat until after, which will be about 7.30, and that will be my dinner. And then I will not eat again until lunch tomorrow. Um, and that seems to keep my ketones actually pretty high. Um, well, not high, but in, in the ideal range um, is just eating those two meals a day and uh, pretty spread out with a coffee in between. Anyways, if you have any other questions about uh, the testing or the strips or where to get them or um, how to test, when to test, shoot me a message and uh, I'd love to help you out. Have a great day.